Uh, hi, this is a Test Pro channel. Um, we have uh, another guest today, um, Maria. Maria, she is our uh, QI automation uh, student in the current uh, bootcamp, and uh, she volunteered to um, give a feedback and experience about your um, about our QI automation bootcamp. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Hi. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, what do you do, and about your um, background? Just yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, I I finished the, almost finished the university when I studied uh, computer science and in Russia, and also in Russia I finished one um, another boot camp about just like basic basic QA, mm -hmm. um, and. Um, Three years ago, like right after I finished, I found a job and worked there a little bit and moved here. It was, yeah, it was exactly three years ago. Oh, really? And yeah, and then uh, once once I moved here, it was pretty, pretty hard to find a job for me because mm -hmm. I have, I had no English at all. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> totally zero. So I started, um, working somewhere, like learning English, and after a year I found my first job here, just uh, just a QA, manual, junior QA position, and um, so I worked like about a year there mm -hmm. and uh, moved to North Carolina for some reasons. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Forgot about QA, then I came back and uh, started working again. Mm -hmm. So was it the same company or different? Different, different yeah, company. it was different okay. one because in um, um, in that company they already found someone, okay. so they, they couldn't replace it, and so it was different company, um, and I was not happy about that company mm -hmm. because it was uh, not not really good salary and mm -hmm. not really good management. It just I, I I felt that I need change something, so I started searching for another one and found a company where I currently working. Okay. So yeah, we can we can move forward like what what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. So how long you, how long uh -huh. you been at this company? In this company, uh, like nine months, almost a year. Okay. Uh, couple months and I, I yeah. Great. What yeah. do you do there? So I'm doing um, manual QA on mobile. Uh huh. So it's um it's a web application and mobile application mm -hmm. and uh, my team working on mobile only so I, I really like it I using a lot of tools there which I never used before so mm -hmm. I got a lot of experience from mm -hmm. from them and uh, yeah it's, it's what I'm doing. <laughs> great great um, so why did you decide to come to us oh it was really important decision in my mm -hmm. life I guess um, so how, how we met you I, uh, we went to the business conference and where, where I went to the business conference I was really like un, unsuspected to, to learn automation I actually this was about deciding to start some business or like okay. something in, <laughs> in this way um, but then there was a uh, Evgeny who who did some speech about his okay. boot camps yeah, and like what what they're doing. I just like wait a second. It sounds really interesting. I mean, it's it's what I'm doing now and. Uh, but you can do, can make way more money. Yeah, basically. exactly. I was like, okay, uh, okay, I'm working in QA and it's uh, I like it, but I I don't know what's what can I do for the next step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then. Um, I heard I heard your speech and we, we talked after after that you gave me some contacts and uh, explain a little bit about your automation bootcamp I was like yeah it's it's what I need because mm -hmm. before that I tried learn automation so many times I mean, also that was not your first attempt right yeah what was the challenge uh, learning automation by yourself uh, I think that like a big biggest problem for me was where to start? What should they do? Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a no exactly steps. There's a no good schools actually, like even online. Mm -hmm. I found couple courses, but they really like huge and 
there's a lot of water and not like really useful information mm -hmm. and when you're learning something for yourself it's really hard yeah because you have, you have to, to push to... yourself right yeah exactly <laughs> and i'm I really bad with that i know what you're talking about i had the same exactly the same experience, yeah right and yet if you have some questions or you understand something there is a nobody you can ask and yeah. it's, it's hard as well i see so yeah, I tried that, um, didn't get what I want, and uh, here I am for your okay. camp. <laughs> so tell us, like, uh, uh, can you share with us your experience in our boot camp? What do you like? What mm -hmm. you probably don't? What kind of business? Yeah, for sure. So, like I said, it's it's really a gift that I found you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, it's, right. yeah. Seriously, because it's it's literally changed my life. Because Sounds very fancy, honestly. <laughs> okay. No, but I mean, it it how it happens in my first bootcamp when I just came to QA, I couldn't imagine that I can do it, uh -huh. and then I like by accident found this bootcamp, my first one, and it's it's changed my career. I got a new um, new job, and I really like what I'm doing. And without those knowledge, I mean, I could be another person. <laughs> tell, tell a little bit about what happened to your job. Mm -hmm. Like now? Yes. So um, it was only manual job all the time, and oh. I actually tried a couple times to learn some some stuff from mm -hmm. our automation team. Okay. But they they helped me. They answered some questions, but because I didn't know much I, I couldn't ask like, particular questions mm -hmm. and it's really hard to ask questions if you don't understand uh, anything <laughs> so <laughs> um, and when I started learning in your boot camp I, um, I told that my manager he was really glad that I'm learning and after like a month or a month and a half he they start looking for another QA to replace me so I can jump to Optimation team. Awesome! That's yeah, actually they... a really, really awesome, um, I don't know, not experience, but really good result. Yeah. I think what happened, besides that you got knowledge from the bootcamp, mm -hmm. you were also proactive and you didn't hide your knowledge, you just shared to your manager and mm -hmm. approached him, told him, like, dude, I, now that's what I can do mm -hmm. and you know you removed headache from the, your manager because mm -hmm. it's pretty hard to find a decent guy uh, with the knowledge of automation go yeah. This. <laughs> yeah so and uh, I think he's very glad that he uh, that you approached to him awesome I mean my congrats, that's really Yeah, good. thank you. Awesome. Yeah, it's actually you're right, because it's it's hard to find the right person, not mm -hmm. only who know automation, but who will really fit in the team. Personality is it's really important, Very I think, important. as well. Right. So, yeah, it's it's really good for them. And also, I showed them uh, my test cases, what I did here. Mm -hmm. I mean, here you go, I did some stuff, I can run it. So, and I uh, also communicate a lot with the um, automation team to ask questions how mm -hmm. the framework works and uh, look at my test cases, how, what do you think about it and all of this stuff. So I think they they discuss that with manager as well, so probably it's a good chance. I yeah. see. Mm -hmm. What could you recommend to our future students or to our... We're actually running uh, another Q Automation program mm -hmm. today. Oh, today? Yeah, wow. so you can... That's cool. What would you recommend them uh, um, to overcome with maybe uh, some challenges or mm -hmm. something like that? Oh, um, you have to... You have to learn. <laughs> I okay. mean, it's... It's not, it's not about, like, come here or, like, open some, like, lesson and listen it. Okay, I got it and close your note, like... MacBook or wherever and forget about it. You have to really put some effort in it as much as you could and um, you, you will get results then. It, they, these guys, they give you everything what you need. You just need really get it from the desk and put in your head. If you don't, if you don't understand anything, please don't hate to, sh hate to shy ask as many questions as you want. I'm the person who asks 
thousand questions yeah, per session yeah, <laughs> because I really want to understand every single piece of, of this course. It, it's, it's just better. I feel more comfortable on the interviews or when I'm talking about things what I really know. So yeah, ask questions, um, learn, do all the homework, don't miss anything. <laughs> you, you will have you will probably have some challenges with um, time because mm -hmm. we're working, most of us working full right. time and it's it's really hard to uh, find time, there is an, almost no life, <laughs> but you, you'll do it, yeah, I'm sure. For me it was hard uh, because I forgot when I had full lunch last time because all my lunches I just do homework or read some uh, I don't know some topics, so I I leave work two three hours after like business hours because I stay late to right. Like, right. do homework and learn. Yeah. I mean, you know, you are the one of students who has actually results because of that because of you took your effort you put your all as much as you can right and that's the way. Yeah. I mean, that's thank you for sharing. <laughs> Great. Yeah, thank awesome. you. Thank you for coming. All right. Sign up to our bootcamp. <laughs> yeah, guys, take it. <laughs>